Gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to the Maccabee Speed Media Machine uh, headquarters here. It's very early, it's a very comfortable temperature outside, and uh, I've got a lot to share with you guys today. Today is kind of an unorthodox episode as far as the channel is concerned. I know a lot of you guys started on this channel as far as the air guns, the outdoors, the shooting, the target shooting, all those types of good things that a lot of people enjoy. More and more, this channel has become, as far as the uploads are concerned, an actual log in history of my day-to-day -day life. And I've been sharing that more and more with you guys. Some people love it. Some people hate it. If you don't like it, get at the end of the day, I do this because I really like making movies and I want my family to be able to look back and uh, have something to uh, remember me by when I'm gone, right? A video legacy, as it were. What's the point? You guys have seen me do a lot of stuff. But you guys have never seen me fight for the American dream. I feel like in no uncertain terms, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I think a lot of us are. We're fighting economic dynamics that we have not seen in this country since 04, 05, 06, when I was young enough to have them not affect me because I wasn't greatly established. It just seems like for a lot of people, the good old American dream is becoming less and less of a reality and more just that, a dream. Where are going with this? I have to make it. I have more people than myself that depend on my paychecks and I'm the only breadwinner in my house. My employment's not cutting it. The way that we've been doing it for years and years with that single income on the single occupation, it's slowly becoming untenable. Today I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys yet another avenue to where I can hopefully uh, generate a little bit of funding for my family as well as, you know, hopefully share that experience with you guys. I feel like gold is where you find it. Gold is roughly $2,000 an ounce at the time of filming this uh, this specific episode, which makes it extremely valuable, even in those gram increments. If you find a small amount of gold, you're still gonna get paid for it. I've always had an interest in prospecting, and I've always had an interest in tax-free money. The idea that you can go out and gainfully find something for yourself and not have the government take a bite out of it, that idea is very appealing to me. So that's also why I've always been into the whole prospecting kick. Yesterday's short, you guys even commented that the backdrop for my actual uh, broken saw video was a sluice box. So I know there's guys out there who do want to see the prospecting, make it or break it, must win, gold type adventures. In a landscape like this where a lot of people are dealing with similar issues, I think it's really important to keep in mind it's not the problem that befalls you, but how you deal with it that counts. So instead of just laying down and letting things happen as they may, I feel like I need to forcefully put my hands on this situation and make a way for myself when I don't see one. I got some new prospecting equipment. And realistically, I live less than one hour away from the heart of California gold country. If you watch Gold Rush at all, I think one of the most common themes that they always throw out there is, oh, the old timers didn't get it all. That's true. The old timers didn't get it all. There might only be enough gold on this planet to fill an Olympic sized swimming pool if you added it all together and got it in one place. But the old timers just didn't get it all. If the introduction to this video has been too serious for you guys, I apologize that you're so buttery soft. But to the rest of you who might actually want to see what's going on in someone's actual life and how they might potentially deal with it, let's get right into it. This is cool. Love it. Absolutely love this. This is awesome. Yo. Very cool. I 
I think I still may buy a set of sifting pans just because I do want something that classifies just a little bit larger of a media. Cool. Hell yeah. Now, honestly, I'm, I'm really excited about this. As far as the little collection bottle and these small pipettes and such, I've actually never gotten down to the point where I'm using these, so this is actually further in my gold recovery adventures than I have previously gone. I pretty much just go with the hand pan and try and pan out as much as I can. I'm a pretty, pretty good panner, you know? You'd, have, you'd be surprised how, how good I could do this. I'm not blowing my own horn here or anything, but you guys are gonna be surprised. I have to do a little bit of research off camera and see exactly what the capacity is for each one of these vials, but I'm pretty sure that these are either half ounce or one ounce gold jars, just because of the fact it takes so little gold to make a physical ounce. I feel like these are going to be one ounce gold jars. Hmm. Cool. And then a larger version of the same exact thing. It's good to have matching pans like this. I really like that because what that allows you to do sometimes is actually pan into the larger pan from a smaller pan like this and not lose any of your tailings. To me though, this is the really cool piece of the puzzle. I really, really, really do like this small prospect sluice. My larger sluice is seriously heavy. The shit does not fit in a backpack. It is not foldable. Uh, a grown man needs to carry that thing around and it takes significant effort to set it up to work correctly in the river. Having said that, this one on the inverse takes very, very, very little effort and I do think this is going to be very effective at catching some of the fine flower gold that I do want to try and recover from some of the pay dirt that I do have. Sorry, it's not like a, a just a standard unboxing, right? We're actually going to be using a little bit of this stuff before we get it out into the field. I think that honestly some of the best successes come from being familiarized with your gear before you get it out into the wild. I think honestly this thing really brings a lot to a table. For the price point that was paid by this and sent in by a good subscriber, good friend of mine, Jim S., I, uh, I do think that this brings a hell of a lot to the table. This scoop feels probably to be one of the more quality items in this kit, and I, I'm actually lacking something like this. It's going to be very useful for going through the material that we currently have on hand. Also, I think it's light enough to be perfectly applicable to that like lone one-man solo dolo style prospecting mission that this is really intended for. Let's go ahead and see it in action, guys. Alright guys, I didn't want to go ahead and bug you. 
All right, guys, I didn't want to go ahead and bore you with the entire process. Mining is a very tedious process when you don't have the edits involved to go ahead and make it look like a seamless production. But we were successful, and we did add a little tiny bit of gold to our jar. It's not terribly much gold in this jar here, but by the same token, we didn't run very much dirt. So if the place that I actually, uh, you know, mined and concentrated this dirt from is still got this kind of results in the gravels, I think it's worth going back to. I will disclose that location to you guys in an upcoming episode, but for right now, I'm going to be happy just going through this little bucket of concentrate that I have, really getting acclimated with my new equipment so I can make a strong showing once I get into the field. Good thing about running a small pump like the one that you guys saw us use in today's mini sluice episode was the fact that you can run that off of a solar panel in the field. You can run that off of a battery pack in the field. You can run that off of almost any power source because it draws so physically few watts. I feel like no matter who you are, you're definitely going to be able to have the stamina necessary to go ahead and pack everything out that you could possibly need to prospect a new area and find out whether or not it's worth that full scale loadout. All right guys, seems to be a great place to go ahead and end today's episode. If you liked today's episode, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more. With that notifications button so you can stay current on the channel as well as when these videos come out. If you really like this episode, make sure you share it so somebody else can see it. And I'll catch you boys in the next one.